Having an eating disorder, it kind of takes over your life. I was very preoccupied with um, exercise and making sure I was under a certain weight. I was focused on what I was going to be eating, when and how much. I thought if I'd be slim, um, I'd be happy. On the outside, I looked really confident, um, but inside, yeah, I was just breaking down. Eating disorders are a severe mental illness and they affect all ages of people across the UK, men and women. People are using food, either restricting their food or binging on food or purging as a coping mechanism. Anorexia has the highest mortality rate in mental health, mainly through organ failure, but also, sadly, we do have suicides as well. There's about 1.25 million people with a diagnosed eating disorder in the UK and 25% of those people are thought to be men. Tweeder estimates that 62,000 people in Somerset are likely suffering with an eating disorder or disordered eating. Somerset and Wessex Eating Disorders Association, also known as SWEDA, is the only charity within Somerset that helps people with eating disorders and we offer a wide range of services. We engage people, we enable people and we empower people. We want them to understand it's about them. Our gateway service is the support and guidance, chatting about where you are at the moment, where you want to be, some people take that on to the talking therapies and the counselling service that we offer. We have a fabulous practical service. We go out to cafes and have tea and cake with people. We would go shopping with people. It's very goal orientated as to what they want to achieve. Our connections with schools and colleges are really important for young people in Somerset. We can get the message across that there is a place for people to come if they've got a problem. Sweden will come in as part of our freshers' fair. There'll be a presence just as a space to, for students to come and talk. Um, you know, they'll be there with their banners and it just gets them sort of known um, as, as a presence right from the very start of the college year. The work they do is invaluable because they are in the community where people are living. We have step up and step down from Sweden, so we've created an entire pathway. So rather than someone only getting support at the worst part of their illness, they can do some work before they get to that point. This is not something that a lot of other eating disorder NHS services have access to. We're so privileged in Somerset to have this joint partnership working with Sweden. Lockdown was particularly difficult for people with eating disorders and we were in great demand. We were 93% up at the end of the second lockdown and even now we're now 122% up compared with the same time last year. I can deal with maybe what used to trigger me. I don't need to act on it, I don't need to use food to cope with other issues that are going on in my life listening to other people that said they've recovered and I really never thought it would be me. It is me, so I would say, yeah, never, never give up hope.